In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a one half scale skipjack class submarine as used by the US Navy in Minecraft. Now, if you guys are new to the channel at all, we're here to help you build bigger and to build better. So, if that's something you're interested in, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, if you want more videos like this one, I have got tons on the channel. I'll leave a link in the card above to the full playlist that you guys can check out. Anyway, let's get into some building. All right then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. Here is the half scale skipjack class submarine. Um, so it's actually not, I mean, it's not too bad size wise, I think inside, you know, basically got three by three blocks going most of the way through the submarine until you get right to the back where the propeller is. And of course, you've also got the conning tower as well, uh, which isn't terrible size wise. So um, quite nice. In terms of its dimensions, it is 39 blocks long. It is a total of seven blocks wide and 11 blocks high. Now guys, in terms of the materials, you have got a red layer and you've got a black layer. So what I did for this is I used mangrove slabs, stairs, and then the red concrete because I love the red concrete. I love the blocks uh, for that. And for your black layer, I ended up using polished blackstone slab, stairs, and black concrete. It's up to you guys what you want to do. For the actual tutorial, I'm actually going to be switching out this black concrete for something else, but I'll keep the slabs and stairs the same. The reason being, well, it's really difficult to see what's going on, so I'm going to use a bright color, <laughs> so we'll see what I come up with. Uh, you're also going to need waxed copper block and also wax cut copper stairs. That is for, of course, your propeller piece at the back. So that's all looking good. And you're also going to need a yellow terracotta block. There is a couple extra blocks we'll need as we get onto the top part here, but we'll do that all at the end. But anyway, guys, uh, in terms of, oh yeah, building under the water, totally up to you guys. You know, it's a submarine, so you can have the whole thing submerged or you can have it at any level. Um, so where is the main kind of bit here? This would be the bit that's usually kind of sticking out. Um, if you wanted your water at this level right here, so your water would be directly there, then you're going to go one two, three, and four, and then this layer right here is your first layer. Uh, that would be just sticking out of the water. All right, um, as always, this will be a layer by layer tutorial. We'll be building up step by step through this one, and um, the chapters will be each layer, so feel free to pause at any time if you need to. Let's get into it though. All right, so for layer number one, if you're building it into the rectangle, which again is gonna be 39 by seven, um, we're gonna be two blocks back, so I'm gonna use the yellow terracotta just to mark that. We're then gonna have one mangrove slab on the upper piece, that is gonna be your starting point, and that is in the middle of this box. You're then gonna have one red concrete block. Then what we'll do is we're gonna have two slabs, one, two there, like that, with three blocks of red concrete behind, one, two, and three. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a, a total of three slabs, one, two, three, so that's coming out from there. Now switch over to your stairs, and you're gonna have 10 stairs in total. These are gonna be upside down and sideways, so face the middle of your uh, box, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, like that. With your slabs again, add four to the end of that, one, two, three, and four. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move diagonal from this with your red concrete block and we are going to have a total of three blocks, one, two, and three. Then what we're going to do is have a mangrove slab on the end of that one. Then switch over to your concrete again. We're going to have one block, just diagonal from that one, and we're going to have one slab on the end of that. Now with a guide block, whatever you want to use, again, I'm using yellow terracotta, we're going to have a three block gap. So one, two, three, like that. Then we're going to have a red concrete block. And then finally, at the end, we're going to have an upside down mangrove stair like that. So let's do the same on the other side because it's a relatively small build. So we'll do both sides. I'm going to get rid of those guide blocks. So on the other side here, we're going to have these two slabs, then three blocks behind, one, two, three. Then we're going to have three slabs, one, two, three, and ten stairs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then what we're going to do on the back of that is four slabs, one, two, three, and four. Move in with three blocks, one, two, and three. Add a slab on the end there like that, okay. So now what we're going to do is with our red concrete, we are going to fill in the bottom of the submarine. So I usually go with full blocks for uh, the bottom, but you could, if you wanted to, go with lower slabs if you wanted to make it even bigger on the inside. But, you know, as we know, for interiors, it's best to have blocks as your kind of base uh, to build everything off of. There we go, fill that in. Don't worry about that gap. That is all part of the 
back rudder pieces that we've got going on there. But that's it for layer number one. For layer number two, we come to the front and place a block directly on top of the last layer. Then you're going to have a mangrove stair upside down coming forwards from this one. On the side of this block, have a mangrove slab like that with a total of two blocks behind, one and two. Then we're going to have two slabs, one and two, with a total of 21 blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Add a slab on the end of that one. And then we're going to have two blocks, one and two. You're going to have two slabs on the end of that one, one and two. And then we're going to have two slabs right here like that. And then finally, with this kind of rudder piece, we're going to have two red concrete blocks on top of that one there. Now we'll continue onto the other side right here. So we get that one mangrove slab with two blocks behind. Two mangrove slabs with, uh, what was it? 21 blocks, that was it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We're going to have a slab on the end, then two blocks, then two slabs. Let's fill in these gaps. Now, you can actually do lower uh, slabs as well on these bits if you want to, uh, if you want to, you know, figure out ways of getting through bits of the ship. But there we go, that's what we get. So the final bit is, well, we're going to be building the nice propeller. So we're going to be doing this nice design here. So in order to do this, we are going to have, and it's up, actually, it's really up to you which uh, kind of direction you have it in. This one is actually slightly wrong. So that one should be, that way I've just noticed that. Ah, it looks much better, doesn't it? So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to have the uh, stair going this way, okay? Then with your waxed copper uh, block of copper, we're going to have that on top and going forwards or, or towards the back even, not going forwards, towards the back. And all we're going to be doing is we're going to be basically rotating this around, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to have the bottom part here against it like that. So this bit's the bit that's stuck. Okay, and then that sticks out. So you get that bit sticks goes goes out and then comes around. So we go that bit goes around and then comes around. And on this side it's gonna be a similar thing. So it goes to that that way, which somehow I didn't have right, and it's the opposite. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna have an upside down around here. So we need to build around to there. Upside down stair like that. Okay. So that's what we're gonna have. So you kind of get that central bit there. It's just mirroring it on either side to get a cool looking propeller. I'm pretty happy with that design. I like it anyway. But guys, that's it for layer number two. On to layer number three, guys. We're going to switch our materials up to polished blackstone slab, stairs, and also black concrete. But for the tutorial, I'm going to be switching out black concrete for polished diorite because you can see the blocks going on here. Whereas uh, I guess it's kind of a bit more complicated. It makes it more difficult to see on a video. So anything that where there's white dye, right? You're going to be switching out for black concrete. Simple as. So right at the front, you're going to come forwards with your black concrete block. Just one of those coming forwards like that. We are then going to have three blocks going back. One, two, and three. Then we're going to have 26 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six like that. Moving in, we're going to have five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to have two blocks right on the end right there, okay? So there's lots and lots of blocks on this layer rather than slabs. So there we go, three blocks on that side, then that 26 blocks, really long stretch. So get it in line with the last layer, plus one, and five blocks like that. But of course, yours will all be in black concrete, but as you can see, that's what it looks like there. If I did it from here, you'd just be looking at this kind of merging thing that happens during videos. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't seem to be able to deal with black as well. Come to the back anyway, guys. Grab yourself a polished blackstone slab. And on the lower slab here, or lower part of the block, we're going to go one, two, three. And on the inside, we're going to have two. So there we go. Two there, one, two, three there, like that. And I'll just finish that up. And of course, you can do this with blocks. I just wanted to make it a little bit thinner since we can use slabs, um, but it's up to you guys what you want to do. But that's it for layer number three. On to layer number four now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves a polished blackstone stair, and we're going to have that in by one. So we've now made it to that kind of past the midway point, moving the ship inwards now. Behind this, you're going to have a block, uh, block, 
black concrete block, okay? Again, I'm putting polished diorite in there. And then we're gonna have a yellow terracotta block, okay? So there's a little bit of yellow on here and a little bit of yellow at the back there. So those are where those two go. Then what we're gonna do is right on the side of this black concrete block, we're gonna have a polished blackstone slab. You're then gonna have four blocks behind that with your black concrete. One, two, three, and four. Four, there we go, like that, okay? On the last two of these, this is where you're gonna have two blackstone slabs on the side, okay? Blackstone slabs right on the side of those last two. Then behind this now, we're gonna have 21 blocks of black concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, like that. So leave two. Add a slab onto the end, that's gonna be a polished blackstone slab. Then moving on inwards, we're gonna have a total of two blocks here. So one and two like that, okay? You're gonna have two slabs on the end of that one, one and two. Then moving towards the middle, we're gonna have two slabs to cover over that little gap there like that. And then finally, these two right here just add two blackstone slabs. I keep on saying blackstone, but uh, black concrete. It's because I haven't got the block in my hand. Two polished uh, diorite, that's not right, black concrete right here, okay? So you'd have two black concrete blocks right there like that. There we go, I'm confusing myself. So on the other side, where you've got that block, it's a lot easier to see as well with uh, <laughs> polished diorite. But you're gonna have that slab right on the side, then four blocks behind of your black con concrete. One, two, three, four. The last two add two slabs to the side of that. Then we're gonna have that 21 blocks behind. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Then we're gonna have one slab on the end of that one. Move towards the middle, we're gonna have two blocks of your black concrete right there. We have two slabs on the end like that. Now, what we're gonna do, guys, because we've getting to that point where it's, it's a lot easier to do it from the bottom, but uh, from this point, we're actually gonna go just to the back, in fact. And what we've got is where we've got this slab, add another block just behind it with your black concrete there. And where we've got these slabs, add two blocks in to the back piece there like that. Uh, and that then completes layer number four for us. On to layer number five. Now guys, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start from the back because it, I, I might forget it. Um, but what we're gonna do is where we've got the little rudder piece here sticking out, we're gonna have a blackstone stair on the back of that. Then we're gonna have a black concrete block right behind that one. And then we're gonna place a slab on top because although that's the next layer, we'll forget about it otherwise, all right? Then we're gonna go and do it kind of uh, the traditional way we've been doing it uh, ever since. So grab your polished uh, blackstone slab and from your yellow terracotta block, go one uh, back from that like that. Then we're gonna have four slabs, one, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna have three slabs, one, two, and three with eight stairs behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then on the back of those, we're gonna have six slabs. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Move in with three slabs. One, two, and three. Then move in with two slabs. One and two. One and two. I'll get there eventually like that, okay? Gonna do the same on the other side. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Then with your stairs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, then six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, then three, one, two, and three, just like that, okay. Now onto the front, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a slab in here to join that. A slab in here. I can't get any, any, can't click at all, can I? There we go, add a slab in there like that on those two there, okay. Then at the back, what we're gonna do is where we've got this two, we're gonna add one in there and add one in here as well, okay? Add a couple extra in like that. Now, switching over to our blocks, so our black concrete, we're gonna go one, two, three, and four, like that. We're then gonna have a three going across, so one, two, and three. Then add one block going back on either side of that there to kind of uh, fill up that gap. Now on the back, we're gonna have three blocks in the middle, one, two and three, then three across, one, two and three. Then switch over to your yellow terracotta and we're gonna have three going across, one, two and three. 
Then switch back to your black concrete. We're going to have three across, one, two, and three. And then what we're going to do is we are going to have another two going across here. And then I think we do another five going back. Let's have a look. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. It's basically a three block gap on these first three stairs. So that's where you get the five. That's what's getting confused as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in total. Like that. But guys, that's it for layer number five. All right then guys, so now on to the conning tower. So what we're gonna do is where we've got this gap, this is where we're gonna basically be filling stuff in. So first, gonna be forwards from here. So kind of go into that little gap there and go one, two, three, and four of your black concrete blocks. Then on the side right here, we're gonna have three of those. Again, make that a total of four high. And at the back, what we're gonna do is we're also gonna have a total of four blocks here. So two, three, four, do that on the other side, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. There we go, add one block either side of that. So you've just got the gap in the middle. You could have it at the front as well if you wanted to. Um, so you can naturally use one of the walls for a ladder. I just ended up putting mine in the middle. Um, but actually now, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'd change that, but uh, it's fine. Uh, then on the back right here, we're gonna have a total of four blocks. So one, two, three, and four. Then with your polished blackstone slabs, you're gonna have two on the end of that to cover up that gap. And then also have two on this part right there, okay? For the top of the tower, um, I ended up using a dark oak trapdoor for uh, the way in. Totally up to you guys what you wanna do to get into your ship, really. Uh, that's just what I went uh, ended up going with. And again, you can kinda of see how much brighter it is just by using a different material. Uh, but you do have a, an all right amount of space, really. You know, Still gonna be cramped but uh, not too bad for a half scale. Then what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna grab ourselves a couple extra materials. So iron bars, diorite wall, birch fence, and flower pot, okay? So on the back part of it, we're gonna have a diorite wall, and that's gonna have a flower pot on top. Then in front of that, we're gonna have a birch fence with a, an, an iron bars on top of that. Either side of the trap door, we're just gonna have an iron bars like that. In front, a diorite wall, with an iron bar on top. Then right at the front, we're just gonna have a birch fence like that. That's the light sensor type panel thing we're going on there, the communications, all that stuff is then all on there. Then finally, the last little bit that we're gonna be doing, guys, is right on the side of the tower, we're gonna to put in some stabilizers, and what we're gonna be is on the second block right up here, on the lower piece, we're gonna have two polished blackstone slabs coming out with one coming forwards from that on the other side, so two here, and then one coming forwards like that. But guys, that is it for the Skipjack class submarine at a half scale. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always guys, I'd really appreciate it if you can to support me on Patreon. Uh, thank you so much to all my Patreon supporters out there, as well as those who support me as members on YouTube. You guys keep this channel going. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.